Roses are red, violets are blue, honey is sweet, and so are you. Roses are red, leaves are green, I want a rendezvous with you in my dreams. You see, I'm looking for a car for you, and these Hallmark love poems are terrible. No, wait. Yeah, they're terrible. <laughs> Nonetheless, social rules and customary regulations dictate that I'm obliged to both get you a card and take a card away from you on your birthday. But I digress as I progress further and further back into this glitter and fuzzy animal store. These cards seem to be designed less and less for a miss and more and more for a whore. <clears throat> roses are red, roses are thorny. When I look at you, I get really horny. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are purple. Nothing rhymes with purple, but can I sleep with you anyway? <laughs> Promptly, I put the card away and look for professional assistance heading my way. Excuse me, sir, I'm looking for a card for my, well, she's my friend, but I want her to be more than that. But I don't want to creep her out. But I don't want to be too subtle. But I've known her since we were little, so I think it's like okay. But, I've, but we've never been more than friends, so it might not be. But I really like her, but I really don't know if she likes me. Oh, and it's her birthday, so I need a card that can say that too. Now, did you get all that? <laughs> And so he says, so you want a card that expresses all those ands and buts that you just told me. I've got just the thing. <clears throat> it's your birthday, so happy birthday. P.S. I like your butt and your breasts, but mostly your butt. <laughs> Suffice to say, that card simply won't do. I've discovered that no six by four inch card really can describe how I feel about you. So the card I'm giving you is an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper left blank because during those rainy days, those sunny days, whatever the weather, like the coloring books of our past, it's for us to fill in together. Oh. Happy birthday, my undocumented love. Woo.